Hello there, long time no see. It's been a little while since I had a video on this channel. There are many reasons, one being that my laptop died a couple of weeks ago and then I lost my editor so I couldn't reinstall it, but I recently found my editor again. Another reason I suppose was getting distracted by wedding preparations because I got married last week, yay. And obviously I had a break after that. So yeah, finally, I'm back. It feels weird to be filming again, but I'm happy to be doing it again. So with all that out the way, let's move on to the matter at hand here. This is the July Geek Gear Wizardry box. I think I missed the last two Geek Gear boxes. I did actually film the June unboxing, but I still didn't have any editing software by then, so I just never uploaded it. But yeah, sorry, this video is all over the place. I'm not used to it. I need to get back into the swing of things. So yes, we're here for the Geek Gear Wizardry July box. I suppose nothing else to do but to open it up and to give you a little sneak peek. Oh, there's a t-shirt right at the front. Okay, all right, this is quite nice. This is, this is a cute little design here. So this is the t-shirt, black, as they tend to usually be these days. And it says, Ollivanders, makers of fine wands since 382 BC, with a wand on top there, which looks a little bit like McGonagall's wand, if I'm honest. I don't know if that's what it's meant to be, but it looks a bit like McGonagall's wand. Maybe it's meant to be Ollivander's wand. I don't know. Really nice t-shirt. I like the colours. I like the font. You, you, you could pretend that you work at Ollivander's by wearing this t-shirt, maybe. Nice start so far. Okay. Next up, I'm going to pull out... I saw this box with the black and white squares, and I thought, that's another chess piece, isn't it? And judging by the imagery on the front i think i could be right in that it looks like another chess piece okay which is fine by me you can add add it to my other chess pieces over there here we are i am no good at chess don't really know what the different pieces are <laughs> i struggle with the ones i have on my shelves already but anyway it looks like a knight standing on a tower and he's got a, a big shield and a little sword Nice quality as they all are. I don't, I just don't recognise the chess piece. I don't know, maybe it's say in the items list. But still, really cool. Add it to the rest of my chess pieces. I have another little box here, brown box. And on the front it says, welcome to Hogsmeade. Ah, this is really nice. This is really cute. Oh, I like this. It's a little Hogsmeade sign. That is really cool. I like that. Really nice quality. Quite sturdy material. I don't know if it's maybe resin or metal. I don't know. But yeah, the silhouette of Hogsmeade itself. It says Hogsmeade at the bottom. There's what looks like, well, I suppose it's a hog. The animal there. A little star on top. Yeah, that's really nice. I like that. It's going to go, it has to go in my Prisoner of Azkaban section because that's when we first come across Hogsmeade. It comes with two little chains so you can hang it up. I like that a lot. That's really nice. Something I never would have thought of, but yeah. Oh, that's a win. That's definitely a win. I approve. Another little box with different prints on it. Oh, oh, this is exciting. Okay, so, okay, I'm just gonna open it up and see if it is what I think it is. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is brilliant. That is actually brilliant. It's it's Hagrid's umbrella wand. That is so cool and it's so detailed as well. Really good paint job. I think was one of the hints a wand for this month and I thought, oh, here we go. We've got another Geek Gear Wizardry wand. Well, technically, this is a wand, I suppose. It's Hagrid's wand. Um, obviously, tiny compared to the real thing, but I I really love the miniature replicas that Geek Gear do, the miniature versions of all the prop replicas, because it means I can fit them on my bookshelves, you know? I thought about getting the actual Noble Collection umbrella, but I just I just wouldn't know where to put it. It's same with, like, the big broomsticks as well from Noble Collection. I wouldn't know where to put them. That's, and like the Gryffindor sword as well. They're just such big things. I don't have much in the way of space to, to put them. So I really appreciate these little miniature replicas. That's my favorite item in the box so far. It's so cool, I love it. I guess that'll have to be in my Philosopher's Stone section, although that section is getting very full up um, because that's the first time we come across Hagrid, but 
I don't know, we'll see. Love it. Do we have a charm in here? Yes, we do. Oh, it's a little Ford Anglia this month. The charm for the charm bracelet, which I am sporting for you today. I am loving collecting all of these little charms. In the last two months, because I didn't do an unboxing, we had a feather and a sock, and now we have a little Ford Anglia. Very nice, very cute. I will add that to my bracelet. We have a Geek Gear scratch card, scratch and win. I'll do that later. Probably no win anyway, because I've only won once, and it was just a, a little discount. I actually have a table today. Do you notice? I obviously you can't see it, but I have a table in front of me instead of going down on the floor to get the items out of the box. Yellow goodness, yellow goodness. Okay, that just went everywhere. We have a couple of prints. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so the first print is this, a very beautiful painting. I believe it is of Harry cast, trying to cast a Patronus with, with an unconscious series black beside him and there's the Dementor there. Yeah, but that's really nice. I like the colours. I really love the colours in that. That's really nice and artistic. And the next one is a print. I wonder if it's licensed. Oh, it's double-sided. Same on both sides. So it says, Mudbloods and the danger they pose to a perfect pure blood society. Ministry of Magic official guideline number 34. Issued by the Muggleborn Registration Commission as reference to the decree number 180L5. Article blah, blah, blah. Ministry of Magic, Muggleborn Registration Commission. Yeah, so this would have been a poster that you would have seen out and about in the time of Deathly Hallows. Fun fact, I'm reading Deathly Hallows at the moment. Well, I say I'm reading it. I'm, I'm, it's being read to me by Stephen Fry. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's really nice. I like the colours, very nice quality. And that's everything, I believe. So onto the items list now. So July 2020, exclusive Ollivander's Modern Logo t-shirt. Exclusive Dementor Community Artist Artwork. The stunning artwork is brought to you by Milton Castro. Show him some love on Instagram. Exclusive Ministry of Magic Mudblood Propaganda poster replica. Hagrid's umbrella mini replica. Love it. Wizard chess rook piece replica. So it's a rook. Okay. I would never have guessed that. Mini metal Hogsmeade hanging sign. So it is metal. Very nice quality. I love that. And the monthly charm collection is the flying car. Next month's hint has Privet Drive on it. So that was the July Geek Gear Wizardry box. Let me know down below what you thought of this month's box. I actually thought it was a really strong one this month. There's no item that I actually dislike, which to be honest is rare to like every item in the subscription box. Not gonna lie. I like to be honest on this channel. Favorite items are between Hagrid's umbrella and the metal Hogsmeade sign because, well, the, the sign, like I said, is just so unique and not anything I'd have thought of and the umbrella because I love miniature replicas so yeah love them very nice quality but yeah let me know what your favorite item was in the comments below thank you for being here thank you for watching my video for coming back after having a long gap in uploads if you stayed subscribed thank you for that but I'm back now hopefully my plan is to try and do two videos a month not the most regular of uploads but I just want to keep it casual for now, see how it goes. If I can't do two videos a month, then I can't, you know, I, I have a full-time job. But that's, that's, the, that's what I'm going to try and do. If I can do maybe a third in a month, then you might have a bonus one here or there. But yeah, roughly it's going to be two videos a month, obviously the Geek Gear every month, and maybe like a collection video. So like my potions collection I want to do. I want to do a pin collection, a wand collection, things like that. So yeah, they're gonna, you're gonna have some of them go up as well. And yeah, watch this space. Let's see what happens next. Thank you all very much for watching and I will see you next time.